they would have this on the assistant surgeon, that would be his field kit, and this pack would be taken into battle by the uh, hospital steward. They would set up a aid station approximately 150 to 200 Sorry. feet or even yards if they could. Sometimes they wind up because the line would shift would be right up in the line. You can see one at Gettysburg, there is an active monument to an actual field strip thing, which is right uh, behind a rock and bullets are bouncing off the rock. Uh, their job, it, and what happened is what they, uh, what they developed by Jonathan Letterman, which was a system of taking soldiers off the field, is the same system we use today for our regular emergency ambulances here. Basically, it's a system of triage, 100 so feet or 250 feet behind the line, they'd have this aid station. What they would do is assess you. If you, if they could help you right away, they would pass you up and send you right back in the line. If they needed to do some work on you to stabilize you so you could be removed, they would do that. The third classification of those would take out. They would take those and put them behind a tree and let them uh, be comfortable and get to them afterwards if they could. Gut wound, head wound, usually. Uh, they also then set up an ambulance corps. The ambulance corps would come up, stretcher, put the man on the stretcher, move him back uh, a mile or so behind the lines. There would be a hospital set up, a uh, field hospital. There they might or might not do uh, surgery. In the most case, of course, the soldier is badly wounded or they need amputation. They would try to, they would try to, if they could transport him, they get him out of there. Otherwise, they'd amputate there. And obviously, we can remove these to give the idea that there's hundreds of amputations, which they did, but not necessarily right there. Uh, at Gettysburg, they would use a bond and so forth. And as I mentioned before, they would look for good water, they would look for shade, and they would look for uh, a place that they could they set up both sides, right? They would pick up the Confederates too if they were in. They would pick up anybody that was wounded, both sides. And in fact, at Gettysburg, uh, some of the surgeons stayed behind, Confederate surgeons stayed behind uh, to treat Union soldiers, one of which, if you remember the great financier, Barad Baruch, mm -hmm. uh, who was from South Carolina, it was his, his father was one of the Confederate surgeons. And uh, he stayed behind, a number of others stayed behind. They would treat the men, uh, and usually the surgeons would be released. There were places where they didn't, and others they did. But uh, at that hospital in the back, the field hospital's job was to stabilize that person and package them so then they could be taken by train or by boat to a general hospital by that point in the war when they realized. And once they started this up, the uh, the number of deaths and so forth fell greatly because you would go to a place as close to the home as possible. You might have their family come in and tend to them. Uh, doctors who could set up in better conditions uh, and, and so forth. And again, this was by 1863. Prior to that, it was kind of sometimes off and other times it worked. However, this would be up front. They do the assessment. The only difference today is that Today, we use helicopters, we use uh, ambulances, we use planes to evacuate the Ramstein, which is the general hospital.